Hi, I am Chef Lamberto here at El Chamo Mexican Restaurant in Lake Worth. In this episode of South Florida Dines, we are going to be preparing a Yelto Snapper with Bacalao. So stay tuned. Welcome back. We're going to get started with the Yelto Snapper. We're going to stuff it with um, a stuffing that I made with Bacalao. It's got roasted potato, corn, tomato, some garlic, olive oil, butter, and the bacalao, a salty cut. So we're going to season the, the fish first, inside and out, with a little um, sea salt, some fresh ground black pepper. And then we f continue by stuffing it. Very nice inside. Make sure you score the fish before so the fillets stay flat. Saute pan, we put the oil. Make sure the saute pan is very hot. You can hear a little sizzling there. So that means it's ready. At the same time on the right hand side we're gonna be making the, the polenta. That's a roasted corn, poblano, onions, garlic, and corn polenta. Little oil, polenta, some milk. It's ready. You check your fish, make sure it's done. We're gonna add a little cream to the polenta so you get some body to it. Get a little flavor also. Not too much, just enough. Put a little pepper black pepper. You can use some white if you want. Okay, we're going to turn the, the fish, making sure the oil goes to the front so it doesn't splash on you. There you go. Okay, polenta is ready. I'm going to put it on the plate. We're going to be making a guajillo sauce, which is a reduction of uh, tequila corralejo, a little bit of white wine, cream, and guajillo. Guajillo is um, red, dry pepper. In a scale of 1 to 10, it's like 4 in heat. So that's ready. We're going to heat down the fish, because in this same pan, we're going to be making the sauce. Fish is ready. Then here we're gonna make the sauce. Easy and fast. You can do that because you're not gonna use a pan. We're gonna get some um, white wine. Doesn't matter if you put the Coralejo tequila first or the white wine. You can do it either way. Turn the heat on fast so starts deglazing some Coralejo tequila do the cream continues to deglaze then we're going to add the guajillo which has been already done ahead of time like I said dry chiles some garlic some onions cooked in a saute pan then blend it Okay. This is ready. You can lay some on top of the fish. Make sure it goes around the entire plate. Turn the heat down completely. And then we're gonna touch it up with the the mixture of mescaline greens that I already uh, seasoned. And that's how we prepare the yellowtail snapper here at El Chamo Mexican restaurant. Thank you for watching.